The traditional Christian view of demons is that they are disembodied spirits that afflict or possess people. The activity of demons, however, transcends this. Demons can also inhabit buildings, land or space. Ignorance in this area has led to the uncontrolled activity of these demons. This book, by a Kakrabadi titled Squatters, will expose you to this truth and give you practical steps you can take to overcome such demons. Get your copy now. You could be living with your enemy. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Squatters at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing a powerful series titled Step Into Your Future, gleaned from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, sharing keys we need to step into our future. Today, he shares why you must have a strong will to create your own future. Let's join in. The next one is your will. Your will is your power of choice. And the enemy of God's will is your own will. God wants to choose things for you, but you don't want to allow him. You want to choose things for yourself. In Luke 9, 23, Jesus said, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. You want that to live somewhere, but God said, no, deny yourself. You want that to use your money your own way, but God said, no, deny yourself. You are not married, but you feel some engines running into you. You start to undress some lady, and God says, no, deny You know, I always used to wonder, Reverend Brian, it says, let him deny himself. Take up his cross daily and follow me. And I used to wonder that. What's the connection between denying and the cross? Then I realized that when you deny yourself of something, you feel the pain. So denial brings the cross of pain into your life. To wake up to pray when you want to sleep. When you wake up, you feel the pain. That pain is called the cross. Number four is your emotions. The enemy of your emotion is fear. One of the definitions of fear is the mental strength to venture into new areas. Every area you have never been in before, if you are moving into a new area, you are afraid. You've never built a house before. When you start, you are afraid that you won't finish. Never married before. Two days before the marriage, you are afraid, am I doing the right thing? Not giving your life to Christ before. The day you decide to give your life to Christ, you are afraid that maybe you backslide and your, your friends will laugh at you. Every time you are pressing forward, one thing you will feel is fear. You know, recently I was reading a scripture and I got to this place where Paul said, in 1 Corinthians 2, 3, he said, I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And then he said, and my speech, that's why I said, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Then how's the Holy Spirit that? Then verse 5 said that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So I asked the Holy Spirit that, so why was Paul in weakness and in fear and in much trembling? And the Holy Ghost said to me, when you take a step of faith and move out of your comfort zone into a place you have never been before, you begin to feel weak. Can I do it? You begin to feel afraid. Is it possible? You begin to tremble. Hey, what about if something goes wrong? He said, when, once you have that feeling, it means that you are in the zone of faith. You have entered 
the zoom. Look at your neighbor, say my neighbor. To walk towards your future, you will have to overcome fear. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you want to walk towards your future, and you don't deal with your emotions because of fear, you always remain where you are. Push your neighbor, say, I'm moving. Push somebody, say, get out of my way, I'm moving. Put your hands together for Jesus. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that to walk into our future, we need a strong will in order to overcome fear and enter the zone of faith. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My wife has finally joined me. Dear Prophet, I wrote to you some time back asking you to pray for my wife and son to join me in the US. You replied that you had prayed for us. Glory to God, my wife has joined me miraculously. It wasn't anything I did because I don't even have my documents yet. I thank God for this miracle. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 207575 215. Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.